Hello, this is Camaro Bruce from Nebraska. Just wanted to do a walk around and a startup on this 1989 Suzuki GSXR 1100. Also called the Slabby, I believe. I don't know. It's summer sidewinders, summer slabbies. Anyway, uh, I purchased this bike uh, from a gentleman in Minnesota. Uh, it was a very successful trip. The bike was a very fair price and it was everything he said it was. As some of us know, you make these trips that are three, four, five, maybe even more. And you get there. I, I went to look at a bike in Kansas City, which is about three hours from here. And when I showed up, I didn't even want to look at the bike or ride it. The brake it didn't work in the front. It was a total piece of garbage. I mean, and I drove three hours and wasted my time with gas. At least we had some good barbecue. Anyway, this is a bike I use for drag racing. And it has a built engine. I think it's a 1216 with uh, Makuna slide bore carburetors, flat slide carburetors. Um, we've taken the, and went through, adjusted the valves, redid the carburetors, redid the clutch in it. It was a little grabby and the fibers were in a bad way. Um, yeah, it's a great bike. 21,000 is very typical for most motorcycles. That's about where they start to people not riding them or they lose interest in them. Um, and yeah, this is a really, really in good condition. Uh, on my YouTube, I have a couple other short clips. Uh, people really like this. It does have a polished aluminum swing arm extended slightly this bike uh, and we put a uh, you can't see it back there but we put a, a Yamaha shock in that um, I wish it was extended about six inches more if I could find a good swing arm you know I would invest in that and and a new chain and get it uh, there because it wants to wheelie on my launch I think my best time I still haven't run in the sixes in it in the eighth mile but my best time is a 7002. I've been very close. Um, like my other bikes, it is for, uh, it's about, still about six weeks away before we, uh, a couple of the local drag star strips start um, opening up um, 20th of April, 27th of April. But the bike was just in great shape. He actually, uh, I have the lower, uh, fairing for it as well, but with this Vance and Hines Sidewinder pipe, which is just brutally, brutally loud. I, uh, I'm going to start it up here in a little bit, and it, you'll see what I'm saying. It just instantly lights up wherever you're at. It really runs well down the drag strip. I believe if I was able to get an extended swing arm for it, I would probably be able to run like a 6.7 and that'd be right around 110 miles an hour because the bike gets good speed in the in the launches. Um, it really does. This swing arm's very nice. I've seen some in other people's videos, extended swing arms on the old drag bikes, old school drag bikes, and uh, they look really nice and it's it's necessary. The bike holds you in really well with uh, with this back piece here. Uh, the position is strong in the launch. And yeah, I've had this bike about four years and it's just did nothing but good, especially when Neil woke it up with the, you know, it had a couple valves that we had to adjust. Uh, the worst thing for a valve is to have it not opening enough and uh, it really cuts back on its power. I'm going to do a little startup and a couple revs. Put some air protection on here. Everything works on the bike still. Uh, the blinkers. Uh, it's not a great cruising bike. It's a little... The knees are up pretty high in it.
yeah, it, it pulls going down the drag strip. If you can, you know, keep the front end down or not be afraid to adjust the wheelie as you're going down, because if you give it too much gas, it'll come up high. But if you can keep it a couple inches and progressively hit first gear, when you get to second gear, it pulls really nice. Anyway, thanks for watching my videos. I have a couple other bikes that I'm going to do walk arounds and, you know, just let people know the history and how the bikes are performing. And, um, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll continue this and thanks for everybody's support watching my video clips. I have a lot of fun making them as well.